Somebody come get her. She dancing like a stripper. Somebody come get her. She dancing like a stripper. Somebody come get her. Now, you know it's Valentine's Day because I just went to the store and these guys are buying the ugliest bouquets of flowers and the oldest box of chocolates on the shelf. But the guy behind me was buying a case of beer and a thing of bubble bath soap. Now, if I had to pick one to marry, it would have been the second because <laughs> scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub, where is this tub? What was I buying? Um, two gallons of milk and an air horn. But this video is not supposed to be about me and my life choices. <laughs> I just accidentally swallowed one of my contacts. Is it, I'm going to be fine? I just... Is it like gum? Is it going to stay? Am I going to pass a con? Oh, why do? By accident, I don't know. Hey girl, what's up? Yep, mm -hmm. I just got back from the store. I got my gallons. I'm super excited for the party. Yeah, gallons. Yeah, of milk. Yeah, for the, yeah, you said, you put in the group chat, it's a Galentine's Day. So I got a, oh, gal, like gal pal, like, gir like girlfriends. Oh, it's like, oh, okay. Right, yeah, I didn't read it correctly. But, um, yeah, it's kind of loud there. Are you guys playing music or something? Oh, you're celebrating. Celebrating what? Oh, Becca Luster of Virginity. Again. Oh, I didn't know you could. Well, it kind of it kinda sounds like someone's fighting them right next to you. Oh, they're, Lauren is, the Laurens are fighting over a Snapchat. Awesome. <laughs> it kind of sounds like someone's sobbing right in your ear, though. Like, it's kind of an, oh, and Megan's crying. Oh, again? <laughs> Megan's, Megan cries a lot. You know, it's, it's a little much, but. Yeah, I guess I'll just get dressed and I'll head on over and then, oh my gosh, do you hear that? Oh my god, do you hear that? I, I just dropped one of the gallons. It is just going everywhere. It might take me, I might have to miss the party. Oh my god, it's like my flow on a heavy day. It's just relentless. Yep, I'll catch you next year. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, this next activity is about body positivity. So we're all going to enter this room one at a time. We're going to say one compliment about ourselves in the mirror and then we'll leave the room and I'll close the door right behind you. Easy as that. My turn. Okay, you just want me to come in here and say one? Just come on in, just say one nice thing about yourself. All right, all right, okay. Damn, girl, you be looking like Victoria's Secret on a runway. How was that? That was very good for your first try. Okay, just follow me out and I'll close the door. You, actually, no, I can do better. Okay, right, nah, bitch. Forget the runway. You look like Oscar the Grouch in a garbage can on Fifth Broadway. How's that? Okay, the second one was, you know what, we'll, we'll try again tomorrow. Okay, but the delivery on that one was way better. The delivery was... Very believable. When I was younger, like most kids, we played musical instruments. First it was the clarinet. Hated it. Lasted about a week. Couldn't do it. Too much spit. So then I started taking piano lessons, but I would go to this lady's house and she was actually really cool, nice, and funny. She wasn't one of those normal teachers that like made me memorize like treble clef and scales and stuff like that. We kind of just hung out and played whatever. Actually, now that I think about it, we used to have recitals at the end of the year where all the other students showed off what we had learned. And this is the songs that I would play. <laughs> Get the point. All the other kids were playing Bach and Beethoven. I was playing old Western saloon songs like Grammy a pint, Ma. I'm gonna go hit the keys. I was 11. That is a nice looking house. You know, I wonder how far the bathroom is from the front door. We got a two car garage and one in the driveway. Oh, we have options. This is pretty nice for this neighborhood. What is that? Vaulted ceilings? Where are my binoculars? Crown molding? What are we made of money? Someone's bringing on the bacon. Okay, at least I don't have like a picket fence. What is that? A koi pond? They got live animals on site? We need permits for that? I bet you they got a gazebo in the back. Why is this car slowing down? Oh my, do they live here? Oh my gosh, is this the owner? Okay, let's just abort, abort. I'm gonna show you my office. Yes, yes, it's a lot. Let me explain. It's a wall of sticky notes. I get it. And it looks a little chaotic, but it's definitely grouped into... Well, not color coordinated, but it's definitely grouped into little categories, okay? It's just random stuff. No, you can't see it. It's for me. It's for ideas. It's for inspiration. It's for me to remember stuff because I have horrible short-term memory. Okay, maybe I'll show you guys just a couple of them. Just a couple of random ones. These two just say fuck you, but this one also says bitch. This one says less upsetty, more spaghetti. Love that quote. Live by it. This is an important fact I think everyone should know. There's this. Try to remember that. Here's the goal. Holy Aunt Jemima. Yep, these flapjacks need some other. Where's Dale? Hey, Dale, hey, can you power wash my pits before you go to work this morning? Don't give me that look. Who cut all the gum out of your back hair last week when you passed out drunk in the dumpster behind old Smokey after losing your bowling tournament for the seventh month in a row? Okay, I'll throw in a bucket of beer and a thing of Playboys, okay? Just meet me in the driveway in four. I gotta get my swimsuit on. No, what I'm saying is, why is your business all up in my business? Okay, if we were two small business owners, mine would have primal estate downtown front and center. Your business would be down the street in an alleyway next to a crack house. Okay, if we were in the business of selling opinions and you had a newsletter, no one would subscribe. Meanwhile, I'm over here on Instagram live doing giveaways. Okay, if I had a two for one sale, you'd go out of business because ain't nobody buying what you're selling. No, that's totally what I'm going to tell Jim the landlord the next time he tries to evict me for putting goats on the roof. 
Okay, ain't nothing in the least says no to goats on the rooftop, ba ba ba. Jim needs to chill. I know a lot of people take their coffee to go in the morning, but you're putting your coffee in these fancy schmancy titanium steel time capsule looking mugs, okay? You could throw that out of your car going 70 miles per hour, wouldn't even make a dent, let alone spill a cup of coffee. Okay, this is my coffee cup in the morning, okay? Stolen right from my mom's kitchen, no lid, okay? I'm one speed bump away from goodbye cup of joe, hello second degree burns. This is besides the point though, because that was my morning coffee and I'm already drinking my afternoon coffee. <sighs> yep, that's all sugar. Could just return it. No. My parents always text me when they get home from work and they're like, oh my god, do you know where the dog is? I'm like, of course I do. He's with me all the time. It's my shotgun rider, bro. We in this till death. Does anybody else clean up their car as they're pulling up to a drive-thru? Because like, I'll just shove wrappers and like old garbage under seats and stuff. Because it, going through a drive-thru is like inviting your crush over for the first time to your house. Like, it is what it is. We're not gonna change who we are. But like, but, but, like we, we could clean it up a little bit. Like, no one in the entire world believes in me more than I believe in this car to get me where I need to go. Okay, this 14-year-old hunk of junk, four-door, three-and-a-half wheel piece of scrap metal I trust with my life. Why don't you just get a new car? Listen, I can barely afford the gas that goes in this car. If I had to buy a car by myself and be a hell of a lot worse than this one, it'd be a cardboard box taped to a skateboard, okay? Would even have a cup holder. And don't get me wrong, I love this car. This car is freaking lit. Okay, as in the dashboard. It's all lit up. Okay, we got lights for no gas, low tire pressure, and one that kind of looks like an engine. But then again, I'm not a professional automobile technical to engine person. So until this key don't make this thing go vroom vroom, we good to go. <laughs> 